Hey, good morning from Breezy, Southern Nevada. Man, I, I don't know about you guys, but I love the desert. But anyways, hey, I just, uh, a few weeks ago, I did a review on this Federal Syntec ammo. And I got a lot of um, views on that video. So apparently there's a lot of interest in this type of ammo. So I bought some more. It's a little bit different than that first video. So uh, we're going to go over this. I'll show you a short video clip. We'll go over this ammo. I'll show you the pistols we're going to shoot today. And then we'll get back out here on the range and uh, test this ammo. So a couple of weeks ago, I picked up this Federal Syntec ammo. I had never shot it before, so I picked up a few boxes and did a review on it. Now this here is a, well, it uses a polymer jacket um, around a lead core bullet. But let's take a look here. This is 130 grains, and this was designed for uh, pistol caliber carbines. And you can see a pistol caliber carbine right here. You can tell it's pistol caliber because of the magazine. So I did a review on this. I shot it through two different carbines and a few handguns and it shot great. And I just came across some more of this, except this is 115 grain and it's range ammo or basically practice ammo. Again, total synthetic jacket. But let's take a look here at the back of the box. I like this right here, made in the USA. It says right here, Polymer jacket reduces friction, heat, and fouling to extend barrel life and minimize cleaning. We'll see about that. And the ballistics. Velocity, 1150 feet per second at the muzzle. We will be checking that today. On the 130 grain, velocity is 1140 and 1150. So not much difference. So... Let's open this up and take a look at the ammo. Oh yeah, look at that, huh? This is, some people call this lipstick ammo, and you can see why. But, so you have basically a lead bullet with a polymer coating on it. And I will pull one of these bullets and cut it open so we can see what it looks like. Today I'm going to shoot my Glock. This is a Model 45. Really do like this one. This is one of my most accurate pistols that I own. I have a Smith & Wesson shield. This is a, a nice little pistol. And my son has a Taurus G3X which is similar to this G3C. So he'll bring that out today and we'll put some rounds through it. All right, you know what? Time to shut up and shoot. All right, let's start off with my Glock. 10 rounds, I just wanna see where this is hitting and just kinda of get the fill of the ammo. Yeah, it, you know, recoil's not bad. Not bad at all. It looks to me like it's going to be pretty accurate. So let's try that shield. All right, on my shield, my magazine holds eight rounds, so that's what I've loaded up in the magazine. That uh, cycled okay. Yeah, and uh, recoil not bad at all. All right, my son brought out his uh, Taurus G3X. I'll tell you what, I love shooting this little pistol. It does come with a 15 round magazine, but I've only got eight loaded into it just to uh, kind of conserve ammo. I just want to see if it's going to cycle in this Taurus. Yeah, 
not too bad kind of threw a couple off there just a little bit but uh, Tor seems to like that ammo you know Fedro says this is really designed for steel plates so let's shoot a couple I've got eight inch plates set up at about 10 yards and let's try my Glock Yeah. Okay, son, you're up. Okay, the mix-up kid, you're up. Let's give it a shot. Nice. Not bad. Let's try that again. All right, good job. Thank you. Hey, just for the heck of it, I pulled one of these bullets out and I cut it in half and took a look at it just, uh, just out of curiosity. So let me show you that uh, short video. Let's check velocity real quick. Again, this is rated at 1150 feet per second. So let's see what we get. I'm going to fire three rounds through a Glock and then three rounds through my shield. 1148. 1153. 1141. Pretty consistent. Shield should be a little bit slower. Ten seventy six, ten sixty three, ten twenty nine. Let me break out my Ruger PC carbine and put a few rounds through it. Yeah, look at this beauty, huh? Really, really do like this one, guys. Nice thing about this, I have it set up so it also uses my uh, Glock magazines. So, three rounds. 1371. 1372. 1327. Yeah, not bad out of a carbine. All right, Pops, give it a shot. All right. Oh, dead center. Look at that. That first round was uh, pretty low, so I come up a little bit and bam, dead center. Hey, I think I have one round in my pocket. Oh, I do. Let's see what I can do with it. <laughs> okay, mix up kid, let's see what you got. 
One round. One round. Oh, got it. I'm going to start calling you Nick. <laughs> the Nick Up Kid? But you got it. Yeah, got the it. Nick Up Kid. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> So, what do I think of this lipstick ammunition? You know what? It shot just fine. You know, we were shooting at 5, 10, 15 yards. I think we had a plate set up at 20 or 25 yards and, you know, shot just fine. Would I recommend it? Oh yeah, absolutely. I would not recommend it for defensive use because that's not what it's designed for, but if that's all you have, then, then yeah, use it. But it's really just practice ammo. Anyways, thanks for watching our video, and we'll see you guys next time. Yeah!